want us to just be amazed at the beauty of Jesus. We're all sinners, we're doomed to go to hell, but He chose us instead. Let's just focus on Jesus today when you take off yourself from your focus on your pressure, your valleys, your mountain, your rap ground. Let's sing this church.
our iniquities. The punishment was laid upon Him. And by His stripes, we were healed. All are like sheep have gone astray. We want, we want, we, we went on our own rebellious way. My sin was great, but God's love is greater. I will be forever grateful for Christmas. You didn't want heaven without me. Who, me, God? Sometimes I even hate myself. Sometimes I even don't like myself. But you would like want heaven without me. What do you see in me, God? Nothing. Sins. Rebellion. My own personal demons. God saw something beyond my fault. He just want to lavish on us His love, His grace. Paid for our death so that we could be set free from the prison of sin. He lived a life that we cannot live. He paid the debt that we owe. He became one of us. Helpless like a baby depending on the mom. Your love is so big so you become so small, oh God. So that you could reach the small people like the shepherds, the homeless, the outcasts, the marginalized. Because that's what grace is all about. And then you made a promise, Lord, that heaven and earth will pass away. My words will never pass away. Put that in your bank. God is your source. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And His power is stronger. I speak to the valleys right now. The valley of loneliness. The valley of depression, the valley of our losses, the valley of the shadow of darkness. Rise up in the name of Jesus because the joy of the Lord is here. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. And I speak for every mountain that we're facing. So unthinkable. It seems impossible mountain of problems, mountain of bills, mountain of pressures. It will come down in the name of Jesus because the power of God, even a virgin can become pregnant in Jesus' name. And I speak to the rough grounds that we are in, those emotional roller coaster, drama, trauma that we go through this season. It will be level because the mouth of the Lord has spoken. You are the comfort and our joy. And we receive you today. Is it possible we, we just ask Him again? Sometimes we neglect Him. Would you pray this prayer with me? Dear Jesus, You are the reason for the season. It's not about the new gadgets. It's not about new stuff, Lord. It's You, Lord. You are the greatest gift of all. I open my life to you. Come in, Jesus. Be the Lord of my life. Be the master. Be my king. Be my boss. And be my friend. And today, Jesus, I exchange my sorrows for joy. I exchange my sickness for your healing. I exchange my curse for your blessing. And I exchange my depression for the joy of the Lord is here. In Jesus' name.
And I want you to pray right now, church. I want you to pray. Holy Spirit, bring a name of a person to, to all of us today that needs comfort and joy. This is like a mission from the Holy Spirit. If, the name, if there's a name right now that God has put in your mind, I want you to pray for that person. And later on, you could text. You say, hey, I just reminded of you today. I was at church I'm texting you just to let you know how are you, man. I love you and I care for you. Simple things like that. I'll invite them in one of our candlelight services. If Christmas can come to the jungle, you can come home. That's the message we want to share to the people out there. All is forgiven because Jesus bled His blood for us already. He did the payment already. We love you. We honor you. Praise you, God. Glory to God in the highest. And peace on earth and goodwill to men. Let's give Jesus a clap of praise today, church. Amen.